Gaming achievements are meant to exist as a form of bragging rights, something to show off to your friends for beating difficult challenges, for completing games 100%. <laughs> but, but what's this? You did what to get that? <laughs> yeah, filthy little dog. Yeah, yeah, so time and time again, devs have put some rather comedic and otherwise unwanted cheeves in their games, which highlight some of our some of our less than stellar qualities. Now, I'm all for a laugh, but I don't want my personal records tarnished by the fact that I might have beaten all these people to death with a dildo. I mean, come on, that's between me and them. With this in mind, I'm Jules for WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 times that video games mocked you with achievements. Number 10. Tiger Woods says, Do you even golf, bro? Okay, so bet this comes as no surprise, but I am bad at golf. The only holes in one I score at are in the toilets with your dad, and the last time I picked up a sand wedge was in the cafe. But I absolutely love golf games, though, as the Tiger Woods titles have always mixed in the right amount of simulation and arcade silliness. However, if you're shit at both real life and games, then Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2009 is sure going to let you know about it. If you manage to rack up 10 double bogeys with a single golfer, you'll get the disgusting sounding on the bogey track train achievement. Yet that's not all, because if you're so bad that you exceed the shot limit of a hole, you'll get the very embarrassing lost the plot pop, which of course is worth zero points. Fantastic. Number 9. Superman returns marks you as a cheater forever. Superman is one of the most moral characters of all time. I mean, he wears two pairs of pants in case the Metropolis people catch an eye full of his big S, if you know what I mean. Therefore, he would clearly hate it if you, the person controlling him, tried to cheat in order to make Superman Returns a little bit easier on yourself. Well, if you are of that persuasion, you little sneak, and try to cheat the Man of Steel, you'll turn him into the Man of Feel as he appears and wags his finger at you in a disapproving manner. You'll also earn the Not That Super trophy, and all will know that you try to cop out of this title. You know what? F you, soups. Judge this. You, you can't really see it, but I'm grabbing my meager penis. Number 8. Top Hand Rodeo Tour Makes You Feel Like a Clown. Top Hand Rodeo Tour is <clears throat> the first authentic rodeo video game for the Xbox Connect. I mean, okay, I, I guess that that's an accolade. I didn't know there was a huge market of that, to be honest. There are also eight achievements that will mock you far worse than your friends will after you admit you've played this game. The game features a plethora of rodeo-style minigames, and failing at all of them will earn you zero-G achievements that will forever remind you that rodeo life is not the life for you. Missing every balloon or knocking over every barrel in mounted shooting, missing more than ten targets in the shooting gallery, and missing the rope throw in the rope throw minigame, all net you something. It's a game which just tells you you're doing everything wrong, kind of the same treatment that the devs should have received when pitching to make this game. Just just no. Put it down. Leave that horse alone. That's a, that's enough of your bull. Haha. -ha, puns. I've, I've got them. Number 7. Payday 2 berates you for being a terrible chef. Payday 2 is a game where things can get complicated and difficult quick. If you don't communicate with your team, there's a pretty high chance of failure. If there's one thing that's easy to do in Payday 2, however, it's cook meth. But why would you be cooking meth in the first place, I hear you ask? Well, the rat's job in Payday 2 has you trading meth for cash, and in order to trade that meth, you're going to need to cook it Breaking Bad style. All three meth cooking ingredients will be scattered throughout the map, all very easy to find thanks to the minuscule size of the area. You'll then be told exactly what to put in and exactly when. There is no guesswork. If you use your listening skills and put the right ingredients in at the right time, boom, there is your meth. If you do it wrong, however, then boom, the lab explodes and you've just unlocked the F in chemistry achievement. It's kind of like a training wheels example for the main game. Listen and do what you're told, you f***ing cloth-eared muppet. Number 6. Saints Row 4 actively ridicules you. Now, if you're so inclined to get all the trophies in a game, you're sometimes asked to do some pretty weird stuff. Saints Row 4 pushes this to an almost fetishistic-like level with the Minty Fresh Challenge. During the How the Saints Save Christmas DLC, you'll find a door blocked by a candy cane. You can either blast your way through or lick your way through. If you choose the latter, you'll go for about five minutes of pressing one button repeatedly to lick through the door gross licking sounds included. The entire time that you're doing this, messages will be popping up on the left side of the screen telling you that you're close to being done, when in actuality, you aren't. After about five minutes or so, the trophy will pop, and lucky you, you've just been debased by the devs. You're welcome. Number 5. Portal 2 wants you to know how gullible you actually are. 
When it comes to laughing at your misfortune, nothing tops two specific instances in Portal 2. The first comes when GLaDOS offers you an easy way out and opens up a door and a catwalk to an easy exit. However, once you decide to take this route, you are locked in and suffocated by poisonous gases. You'll then unlock the good listener achievement because you just followed the advice of GLaDOS. The second comes later in the game after the part where Wheatley tries to kill you. After you escape certain death, Wheatley will tempt you instead to jump down a pit instead of continuing on your way. If you allow yourself to be tricked into killing yourself not once but twice, you'll unlock the pit boss achievement for air quotes, showing that pit who's boss. Well, you know what? F*** you, robots. I was just trying to follow orders like a good little lemming. I've watched too many Watch Mojo videos to think for myself after all. Ha ha. Ha ha. Jokes. Definite jokes because I don't watch that trash. Number 4. Halo 4 wants everyone to know that you're a camper. Right, so you're playing Halo Online. You're in a match of Slayer and you're on a 14 kill streak. You're about to snag that 15th kill and hear that epic voiceover say, Running Riot. So you round the corner, gun ready, and you get cut down by somebody crouching in the corner with a sword. So you smash your controller against the wall because you have anger issues that need to be worked out in healthier ways. So says your so called therapist. But seriously, what the f, you camping little sh? Well, Halo actually makes a point of embarrassing people who want to sit like a stone while everyone else is slaughtering by giving them the pitching a tent achievement if you stay in place for a full minute without dying. We well, you know who you are, you scum. Scum, I say! Number 3. Multiple sports games tell the world you're a quitter just as Halo wanted you to know there's nothing worse than a camper, multiple sports games out there are determined to tell you there's nothing worse than a quitter. And there's no two series that take quitting more seriously than FIFA and NHL 2K. It is their mission to let the world know about the people who have no pride and puss out. In NHL 2K7 and 2K8, there are achievements called Quitter for quitting 10 online multiplayer matches. In the FIFA series, you're not being shunned for simply quitting, but for quitting while losing. The achievements Bad Loser and shameful come from quitting five matches when losing in FIFA 10 and 2010's FIFA World Cup South Africa. And as you'd expect, these are worth a zero score, so it's even more humiliating. Number 2. Call of Duty World at War tells you to stop playing on the flip side from games which make fun of you for leaving early, Call of Duty makes fun of you for sinking too much time into it. In World of War, the game tops out at a max prestige level of 10, meaning that you've effectively reached level 650 across 10 resets, which sounds like an awful lot of arcade shooting and mum abuse to me, if you, if you ask my opinion. You do get that sweet 10th prestige icon, though, so maybe it's worth it? What's not, though, is the achievement attached to it, which is called Go Get Some Sun, which, while being a bit of a burn, is probably a liability waiver from the devs denoting that at at least they tried in some form to get you off your Dorito chip riddled chairs. And number one, you're a pervert and everyone needs to know. Admit it, everybody does questionable things when they're playing video games. We've all gone to the strip club in GTA, we've all looked up the secret fake cheat code to make Lara Croft go topless, but there are games which go out of their way to shame you for your hornball antics. In Dead Rising 2, off the record, if you decide to shoot a picture of some erotic, air quotes, equipment in the Uranus part of the mall, you'll get the achievement called Adult Content. The achievement description even mocks you, saying, if only your mother knew about this. In Duke Nukem 3D, you get an achievement for tipping a stripper, letting everyone know that you took time out of your day to go oogle some 3D pretty pretty badly rendered boobies. While relaxing in the hot spring in Azura's Wrath, if you stare at the attendant's assets too long, they'll cover themselves in shame and you'll unlock an achievement there. Finally, in Lollipop Chainsaw, the game in which you are a cheerleader with a fixation for sucking on lollipops, if you try to peek up Juliet's skirt, you'll earn the I swear I did it by mistake achievement. Oh you. It's a funny way to mock the more devilishly desired gamers and a perfect example of why I keep two accounts on all my consoles to hide my shame. Brilliant. Hey guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video, aren't you a star? Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe below, and also there's probably more content flowing up above my head, so why not check that out as well? Could be a laugh. Probably. Six out of ten.